Welcome, from me is a ZTE Blade 10 and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. Now starting off, we're gonna begin with the dark theme which will allow you to turn the phone well, dark. It's basically a dark mode which can be found under the display section and the settings. So let's navigate into here and simply check this on. Now as you can see everything turns dark. Now when you click on it, well, there's actually no options here. So I was gonna say when you click on it you can actually select some uh, settings for it but that doesn't exist here. So just going over the general uh, dark theme, as you can see, uh, notifications and a bunch of the default apps are affected by it. So everything here is basically in dark mode. And it just makes the device look a little bit more pleasant to the eye, especially during the night. Now, during actual direct sunlight, probably uh, dark mode might not be the best option, uh, considering this device isn't getting some super bright display. So it might be hard to see it during the day, so day daylight or direct sunlight. So you might want to switch it to light mode, but during night, dark mode is specifically uh, good. Now moving on to the next option, it's gonna be the easy mode. And this is primarily for more elderly people that struggle with using the devices. So when you go onto the settings, you will have under the display, somewhere in here we have easy mode right over here. And when you check it on, it will make basically everything a little bit bigger and also the apps on here will be, well, severely bigger, as you can obviously see. Also, notification panel uh, has bigger toggles and you can also increase that even further if you go under the display. Now, I'm going to disable it for now because it's a little bit easier for me to navigate. I'm just used to different spacing. Let's go into easy mode, disable this for now. So increasing the easy mode and just the accessibility a little bit further, you can go into things like display size, which will allow you to basically increase everything on the device itself. So right now it's set on the default, which is in the middle, but you can, for instance, make it smaller, which will make everything smaller. Text, uh, basically the spaces between text, uh, also bubbles and everything that is on here will be significantly smaller. But you can also take it to the other side and make it way bigger. As you can see, this will increase everything. So that will stack along with the easy mode uh, really well. Now, we also have font size, which will allow you to increase specifically the text. So as you can see, you can make it also bigger. And again, this will also stack with easy mode and the previous option. Uh, so we can get really large text here if you wanted to, and everything would be really big and easy to navigate through. So going back to the default, there we go. So this would finish up the uh, the easy mode. So moving on to the next option, it's gonna be the animation speed, which will increase the animation of how the apps close and, uh, and open. And to get this going, let's go again into the settings. This time around, you wanna go into the system, step on advanced, actually not system, my bad. It's about phone right over here. And now let's scroll down and look for build. I think it's this one, right? Yep. So build number. As you can see, after you tap it several times, it will give you the message that you are now a developer. So if you go back, we should have somewhere developer options. There it is. So tap on it. And from the developer options, you want to scroll down past halfway. And you're looking for these options right over here, the three ones. So window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animation duration scale. And all of them will uh, change uh, some different parts of animations. As you can see, window animation scale is set to 0.5, which is already kind of nice. And the window is this thing that pops right over here. And if I change it to times 10, you can see the difference in the animation speed. So I would set it to 0.5, all of them. Um, but if you want to take it a little bit further, you could literally turn off animations and everything will be done instantaneously. So if I do it now, there is no more animation in this. It just literally instantaneously pops on the screen without any kind of animation. So as you can see, everything is way quicker than it used to be. So moving on to the uh, next option, it's gonna be the simple split screen, which can be accessed by going into the recent 
and you want to tap on the three dots and go to split screen. Now, whichever app you will open first in split screen, that's the app that's going to go on the top and then you can open up any kind of other app uh, and it will go on the bottom. And when you press on home, it will only close the bottom app while the top one will be minimized as such. And the best use for this is, for instance, with using um, things like YouTube. So you can listen to music on top, shrink it further so you can make it smaller to only accommodate the video. Well, continue, continue to use your phone and do whatever you want. Also, when you go home and this minimizes, YouTube will continue to play. So really nice. Uh, closing this off and going to the last option, it's going to be the locking up option. And this is more for listening to music. So for instance, if you're using Spotify and you terminate, uh, when you go into recent and you do clear all, uh, I personally do that plenty of times. So when you clear all, things like Spotify will be closed sometimes, uh, depending also on the phone. Um, so if that is, for instance, happening for you, that it's closing or you're closing your music by mistake, what you can do is if you want an app to stay open, even when you're doing the clear all, all you need to do is tap on the three dots and go to lock. As you can see on the icon right here, we have a tiny little lock screen or a lock icon. And now if I go to clear all, everything will be cleared apart from the locked application. As you can see, it will not close this one. So you can lock, for instance, something like uh, your music and it won't actually terminate it. So you will continue to play music while you did clear every app other than that. Now you can also close it by simply swiping on it like so. Uh, but the setting of an app stays on there, I believe. Or not. Let me see that again. Nope, it looks like it actually removes it once you actually manually close it. That's a little bit of a shame. Uh, but still, uh, for an app that you're using, you can always lock it from closing whenever you want. Now, that being said, this would conclude all the tweaks and tricks I wanted to share. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.